Hello, and welcome to the Halo 3 custom sound importing tutorial. So, today, you are going to be needing a few things in order to do this. We are going to be modding Halo 3 using the FSB files in the game. I believe it stands for File Sound Bank, probably. Not too sure. Um, but anyways, you're going to need Audacity. This is absolutely necessary. You can use any other uh, audio editing software of your choice, but this is free. So, Audacity nowadays, modern versions, they have telemetry in them. So, God knows what the, uh, what the people who are keeping it up to date are doing with this data that they collect, but versions 3.0.2 and below, they basically have all telemetry functions gone because they were never existent to begin with. So if you were to use any versions before that, you will have no data collection when you use Audacity. So, I have provided an archive link to the version of Audacity that I use, personally. This is version 2.4.2, and I've also included uh, MD5 hash checks and SHA hashes as well if you want to use those. But um, this is my version of Audacity. So, we're going to need that. You're also going to be needing FUBAR2000, and this program is basically used to extract the files that we need in order to modify uh, Halo 3's sounds. So. We're going to be opening up the FSB files from the game in FUBAR2000 first, and then we're going to be moving to the next program that we need, which is DSSI, which basically stands for Dark Souls Sound Inserter, as you can see here. And this is going to be ultimately used to insert the new sounds that we create into the FSB files. So, um, a little bit of explanation for how things work with this. If you want to get very technical, you can import custom sounds with custom lengths, but you're going to have to edit a lot more in depth. Now, if you want to take the easy way, which is just preferred, do not edit the lengths of sound files at all, and just use the original length. So, what I mean by that is, if we have a, a sound that we want to import into the game, if it's any less or any larger than our original sound, we're going to have to modify it in order to fit the original sound's length. So, with these programs installed, um, and by the way, I'll show you what these do. So, if I were to open up, um, actually, yeah, I can, I can show you this, that's fine. So, if I was to click this, you can see it just t tries to download the Audacity installer for 2.4.2, and you can check the hash on it as well, it is correct. Also, this will bring you to the Microsoft Store. Um, this program is on the Microsoft Store for whatever reason. That's fine. It works great. Um, so there's that. And then also DSSI, which comes from Nexus Mods. So I just trust it. I didn't get a hash for it. But basically, this is the downloader. Anyway, let's begin. So we're going to start... Uh, you're going to want to basically navigate to your Halo directory, the MCC directory. So I have this saved as a shortcut here. But we're going to go into Halo 3, and you're going to see a file called fmod. So inside here is PC. Now, we see the FSB files. Now, like I said, these are basically the files in the game that contain every bit of sound information that gets played. So we need to open these and edit them. So we will start with this program, FUBAR2000. So this program right here, when you open it up by default, I don't know if the color will be black for you. This is a volume slider. You can choose to modify this. I personally have it modified a little bit lower because I have headphones on. And uh, there will be an issue later with Audacity as well. Basically, sounds are a little bit too loud for me, so I have to adjust them. But anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and make a copy of this. So go ahead and uh, control C and V this. Basically, just make a copy. Now, it'll say dash copy, but I'm going to name it dash OG for original. So we're going to go ahead and open. And I'm already in my Halo directory, but you can see it, SFX dash OG. You can also go into the English.fsb and you can modify sounds here, but me personally, I prefer the sound effects. So this will take a little bit of time to process. And today, I'm thinking, well, I wanted to modify the battle rifle sounds, but there's like eight different sound files for the battle rifle sound. 
I still kind of want to do it though, not going to lie. It's just going to be a little bit extra work, a little bit more time in the video versus me making it for just one sound. Because some, some weapons have less sounds than others. It just depends on how, uh, whatever, whatever gun you want to modify, how the developers made the sounds play back then years ago works the exact same way so and this um, this basically works with anti-cheat on because the anti-cheat does not scan the FSB files for modifications at this time I don't think it ever will to be honest with you but anyways as you can see it's opened up our SFX OG FSB and you can see all the names all the sound files and if you were to play any of these you'll hear it f like this is directly the sounds from the game so like here let me uh, let me pause the music for a moment, and I'll just play the frag grenade explosion. So, like, that's from Halo. You just click it, and all these sounds are just at your disposal. So that's lovely. So, say you want to go ahead and replace the sound, right? Like, what the fuck do you want to replace? Well, I wanted to do the battle rifle, and I'll tell you right now, it's a pain in the ass, because there's so many fucking battle rifle sounds. Notice how I'm scrolling, right? Now, I'm probably going to find it relatively fast. Okay, yeah, it's right here. But it, say if I didn't want to do that. You can go to the edit, search, and type in whatever the fuck you want. So, like, say I wanted to edit the magnum sound, boom, magnum. I just type that in, hit enter, and now I've already got all the magnum sounds just right here and ready to go. So, wherever, um, I think it's going to be stereo one. Yep. So, as you can, hear, you can hear, those are the magnum sounds from Halo 3. Um, we can modify those, but like I said, I kind of want to go for the BR. So, just type in battle... And then we should um, get the battle rifle fire sounds here. So like I said, there's like eight different fire sounds. And there's also the LOD fire sounds. And the LOD fire sounds are for like a uh, level of detail, just distance, basically. When you when you go farther away, you can hear a different sound. But um, I don't see them right now. They might be under a different name. But um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the battle rifle sounds just for this tutorial. And uh, you know what I should do as well? I kind of want to go into the game really quickly. Let's go into the game just to show you that this is not modified. But um, I think you can open this file while the game is open because as long as it's not reading the FSB file actively, then you can use it. So this game is going to be like ear rapey loud because that's just how it is right now. Let me, uh, turn it down just a little bit, otherwise it's going to be too loud. And I will load into Construct and I will let you hear that there is no modifications done to the sound. And then we will move into extracting it, and I'm sorry if this is a lengthy process if I'm making it lengthy, but I prefer to go into extreme detail with things. So a battle rifle. Okay. OG sounds. Unmodified. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Now, like I said, we can keep the game open, doesn't really matter. But what we want to do here is convert this. So we can quick convert this, and you can choose whatever you want to uh, convert it into. I just usually do wave, doesn't really matter. You can choose uh, MP3. I think, I don't know if this thing has issues. Let's try it. No, it seems to work as an MP3. Um. Personally, I just do waves, but, you know, you can choose whatever you want. Uh, but pretty much what you want to do here, this is for convenience. You don't have to make it in the file of PC, but you can. Pretty much what I do to help organize things, um, I just make a folder, call it modding sounds, and then you kind of want to just start organizing things into different categories. So like, okay, weapon sounds, right? And now we've got battle rifle sounds. So now we've got this F, uh, SFX OG4725. That number is very important. So we're going to go ahead and extract that. And we can actually extract all of these. So I just shift and then I clicked. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and convert these in bulk to uh, put them in here, in my BR. And there you go. We extracted all those. So let me show you where that went. So as you can see here, I've created a modding sounds folder inside the PC folder next to my FSB file. So when I click into this, you'll see basically it just helps organize things and keep them all together. So now we want to modify these. Well, 
we're done with the foobar program for right now. We don't actually need this open at all. And uh, for future reference, I believe you need to close it in order to reopen the FSB file in the next program. So it's a good practice to close it. But anyways, we're going to move into Audacity now. So as I've said before, this version has no telemetry in it, so nobody's going to be spying on your information. I don't know exactly what they put in it, but you know, that's just what you got to be aware of when you use new versions of software. Uh, so anyway, this is where it gets a little ear rapey for me because it's loud. So if you turn down the gain, if you turn this down, it's going to turn down the whole computer volume. So, but this thing turns down the individual volume for the audio. So this is really important as well. Uh, we're going to want to match the hertz, the project rate down here. This has to match. Everything has to match. So if your sounds that you import do not match, they need to match. So, and pretty much it's very easy to fix that, and I'll show you. But as you can hear, this is the original battle rifle sound, and this is its length. That's basically it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to find a sound so uh, we want to use in the game. So I have this sound bank that I've downloaded. And pretty much, uh, we're going to go ahead and source a sound from it. Now, for me, in this case, like I said, this is going to be kind of lengthy because there's fucking eight sounds here. But, um, I don't know why the titles are like that. Okay. But yeah, pretty much, I'm just going to take the time to make all of these because it will be worth it in the end. I'll show you. So, what we're going to do is we're going to just take from our sound bank, whatever, wherever you have sounds, whatever sound you want to use, doesn't matter. Um... We want to go ahead and just drag this in here. Now, you'll notice this is the OG battle rifle sound, and this is the um, the new sound. Now, you can choose to overwrite these. Personally, I overwrite them because I always keep the original right here, the original sound effects, if I ever need them again. So, if I ever need to extract it, no problem, right? But when I have it all here, it's super easy to modify, and I'm I'm going to show you a really nice thing that you can do to set this up pretty much it's just very easy to uh, quickly make modifications so this is my system but um anyway as you can see there's a gap here big gap now um you don't have to add any silence to this you can choose to generate silence with that length of time and you can do it that way but you can also just do this so this that this whole sound right here the original sound also we do match 48 thousand hertz so we're okay but if it didn't match you can basically uh, change this down here to 48,000 and that will make everything into 48,000 hertz so but anyways we don't want the original sound anymore so what we can do is we can select the whole sound the whole original sound by double clicking it generate silence and as you can see it automatically knows how large of a sound or how long rather to generate silence. So that basically will keep um, the original length whilst adding our new sound. Now like I said, this is going to be really loud, so I'm going to just turn it down. That's what our new sound will be. Now I really don't know if this is going to be a good sound when we get in game, but I'm just doing this for the sake of the tutorial. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put the volume all the way back up, and mind you, you must have the volume all the way back up in order for it to be uh, compiled properly. Now, this one doesn't matter so much because it's just silence, but this one does matter because it's not silence. Also, you must keep in mind whether or not there are dual channels, meaning stereo or mono. So this is stereo. We have two channels. You have left, right. Okay, so if you do not have that, then it will be a mono sound, and mono is just one channel. So we can actually split the channel right here you can see split stereo to mono now I'm not gonna do this because in this case we have stereo but if you needed to do it that's how you do it you just go and click this little tab and you split the stereo to mono and that will basically create two separate channels it'll take the left channel and the right channel and you can just select whichever one you want or you can alternatively compile it as a mono sound like this because they're both mono but anyways, we're going to keep the stereo because that's what we came for. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and export this as a wave because that's what I uh, basically exported it as. Now, I do not have... Uh, I do have quick access. Do you wanna, yeah, okay, here. Sorry, I'm trying to find this file. But anyway, 
we're going to go ahead and compile this with the exact same name as the original. So we're basically replacing it, essentially. So, you want to replace it? Yes, they do. Your tracks will be mixed down and exported as one stereo file. Great. So these are just all the original information, uh, all, all the original information that was with the file. So just keep it. Doesn't make a difference to me, to be honest with you. But now, if we open this, you can hear that. That is not the original battle rifle sound anymore. So now what we need to do is this exact same process again and again and again and again for every single sound that we need. So, in my case, I will be doing Battle Rifle 2, um, which, to be honest with you, uh, well, let's see. Do they have differing... Yeah, they do. Okay. I just want to make sure they have differing uh, lengths, because otherwise I could probably just easily replace it, but I'm going to go through and do it the painfully long way. But like I said before, we want to generate silence for the original sound, and then we want to pull whatever sound we want. Now I actually have a, a variation of this firing sound um, in this sound bank, so I'm going to use that to my advantage. So as you can see, here's another great example. Um, this sound now it has a longer length than our original sound, so what do you do? So we actually have to subtract it, so we have to get rid of it completely. So all of this right here, as you can see, I'll drag, just hold down left click, and then basically it will create a little yellow line when you when you meet the end of the file above it. So that is what we want in order to have the proper length. Now you can just click delete key on your keyboard, and that will remove that from uh, the modded file. And just make sure these are the exact same length. I'm hitting control and I'm using my mouse wheel just to zoom in. And as you can see, they line up. So that's just to be extra super meticulous, but you don't really have to do that. But anyway, um, we're good to compile this. Now, another thing to note, uh, the, the volume of these files, depending on the volume, you may need to adjust the volume a little bit in order to make them louder because sometimes they're too quiet. We'll see what happens when we get in-game. I really don't know what it'll be like, but um, it's no big deal. We're just going to go one step at a time here. But um, I am prioritizing the battle rifle because I kind of want some new sounds myself, and um, I don't mind starting a new file to make a tutorial. But I'm just going to use these two sounds, and that's it. I mean, you can use as many sounds as you want, but me personally, that's what I'm going to do. So there's the original. Just had to make sure. Go ahead and double click it, generate silence for it. And then you go ahead and unmute this one. And here's the new sound. Okay, great. Change the gain to zero. Now I'm going to go ahead and export this as wave. And then it already gives you the name, so really you could just click save and you're good to go. You know, like it's that simple. But I'm pretty much just going to keep doing this variation until I get done with all these. So we're on the fourth one now. And then I'm going to grab this sound, and then I'm going to have to cut it again because it needs to be adjusted. And then this one has to be generated silence for... And there you go, now it's modded. So then you just go ahead and export it as a wave, and then you just save, and then you replace it, and then you save all the information as it was. And then you just start over. Now I know, like I said, this is a lengthy process, kind of. You know what, let me do this as well here. I'll put my music back on for you. So anyway... Um, I think I was on the fifth one here, and let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so we've got a whole lot of extra length, that's fine. Just go ahead and silence the original. And then here, uh, let me do this. Oh shit, that's, you see, that's too damn loud. I'm sorry. I had to experiment. Okay, so as you can hear, that's a new sound. Go ahead and export it. Save it replace it. There you go. Done. Now I move on to the next one. Six. Grab this guy. Cut it. Make it the right length. And like I said, you don't have to go down and check the length, but it, that's just what I did to show you that it's the, the right length. You can trust the program. So we just keep doing this until we meet the end which we're actually quite close. Got number seven here. Grab this guy. Silence it. Mm -hmm. Export it. 
Everything's 48,000 hertz as well. Very important to have that match. All the information from the original file must be the same in order for this to work properly. Because if it's not, then you may encounter, I don't know, I would just say broken shit pretty much. It may not work at all. It may not insert properly. Or you will get, um, I've had in-game sounds will actually start like falling apart in real time. Um, you'll hear snippets of other sounds because it's calling the wrong information. Uh, so be cautious, but it's not hard. So, you know, don't worry about it. It's all good in the hood. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we're done. So this is actually everything. So, if I play this for you. You can hear that we have... The two variations of sound in every single thing. Every single one has... Um, has a little variation to it. So that's what I wanted to do there. Now... What we can do now is go to DSSI, the Dark Souls Sound Inserter. I know it's misleading because it's Dark Souls, but trust me, it fucking works. It's weird as shit, but it does. So anyway, FSB is the same exact file that Halo uses now. Uh, this didn't exist in the Xbox 360 version, by the way. This is new to MCC, so they did some fucking weird shit. But anyway, we're going to navigate to our file here, to our uh, FSB file. So this is our SFX FSB, and make sure that you have a backup. Like I said, make sure. Go ahead and load it up. The game will not be able to read it at this time because it's not actually using it for anything. So it'll just take a moment. It should be, uh, as soon as you see the quality down here pop in, Okay, yeah, it's definitely processing. I don't think it's in use. I think it's usually faster than this. So that's why I'm, like, suspicious of it. What? Okay, it's saying it could not be opened. Alright, so let's just close Halo. Because I think that might be the issue. It probably is likely the issue. This is open project. I don't want to open project. Uh, what? No, I do. Okay. Apologies. Shit should load. If you just give it a moment. I really don't know what it's doing, to be honest with you. So, just have patience, please. And we will get to it eventually. I don't understand. Oh, you know what? I know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm trying to open it as a project. That's my bad. I just realized. So you see this thing here? It says FSB location. That's what I'm looking for in particular. So this is what it is. Now you can hit open. Sorry. I mean, to be honest with you, that's just kind of misleading. Like, you think open would be here, right? But anyway, I'm, I'm just like, I guess I should say this as well. I haven't done this in quite a, quite some time, but I figured I'd make a proper tutorial for it. But this is how you do it. You hit the Browse button here, and then you hit Open. And that actually will make this Quality button active. That's how you know that it's properly loaded. Boost that bitch to 100. So, this also has an FSB Explorer, which is kind of handy if you wanted to look at the indexes of the sounds, which I will do to confirm that they are the same. Um, but you'll notice here that when I went and extracted the battle rifle sounds from the game, we get this number here. It says 4725. So that is the index of the sound. So if you see here, it says ID. So we can look for that index, 47, 4725. So right there, it says battle rifle fire 2. Wow, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, it is, actually, because um, FUBAR extracts it and index further than what we're looking for. So it adds a number to it for whatever reason, but it's no big deal. Um, I will show you a way to get around this, kind of, a nicer way, because, like, honestly, inserting sounds with this is a fucking pain in the ass. I'll show you how to do it. So you set target, and you add samples. So um, if you add sample, it's quite easy. But basically, I think we can just add this, right? 
and we can add probably all of them together, the rest of them. Yes, there you go. So we've got all these, all of our sounds loaded in, right? Now, this isn't done at all, because this thing, see how it says no target? We actually have to set a target. Now this is the part I'm talking about that takes fucking forever. Watch what happens with this program. I hit select target, and this freezes the program. It takes forever, because it has to process all 40,000, or I'm not, I'm sorry, I think it's like 14,000 sounds. Uh, 14,000 or 16, yeah, we're looking at 16,000 sounds here, so it has to process all of those like, again. So this program is built in a very inefficient way, so what you'd have to do is you have to scroll and find each individual sound like this and then route the target so you see it says set target boom there you go so that actually is set now that's the only one that you need to do because i'll show you what to do now for to make this a lot fucking easier because this shit is retarded so thankfully this program is built in a way that allows me to take advantage of it a little bit so if you go to file and you save this as a project go ahead and go to the modding sounds just go to the the root of that um, now I see it says sip.sip sound inserter project. So that's what this project file is going to be. Now let me show you something kind of cool. So we'll, we'll just call it Halo 3, right? So if we go to this, you can see Halo3.sip. So right click that. Now if you have Notepad, you could just do this in generic Notepad, I think, seriously. Uh, but I'm going to just go ahead and edit with Notepad++ and you'll see this thing is stored in plain fucking text. This program just interprets plain text. So if you were to go ahead and just add, see I just changed the language to C sharp, you can see values a little differently, C sharp or, or C++, whichever your preference. But um, this is super helpful. And what this is showing us is, okay, we have the quality, which don't fuck with it. This is the location of our FSB. You have the sample location for the sound that we want to inject, and you have the target ID. Now that's extremely fucking helpful because now we can completely avoid this stupid ass set target shit. So if you're if you're somebody like me who makes fucking bulk mods like a lot, right? There's a shit ton of this. That's a waste of fucking time to sit there and set target. Fuck that stupid ass shit. All you got to do is look at the index and subtract 1. So you see how this is 725 or I'm sorry, uh 4725. Now this is 4724. So this next one is 4726, so subtract 1. Now you got 4725. 4727, subtract 1. Now you've got 4726. Put that in the index. Same exact thing. So this one will be 7, and this one will be 8, and then this one will be 29, and now you get into the 30s. So here we've got 30, right here, 31, so we'd just be 30, and then this one is 4732, which you just changed that to 4731. So now that is basically all one index behind because like I said, FUBAR, this program down here, it likes to take an index further than what DSSI thinks. So if we just change the indexes, we're good. So just make sure everything lines up. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. Now you go ahead and save it. If you exit out of this, just close the project. I don't think it actually saves it. No, it does not save. So if you go ahead and open the project now, Halo3.sip, look what we just did. Just give it a moment. Oh, you know what? I think I just did the... I accidentally fucked up. My bad. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just going to start it over. I did the exact same thing. It's totally habit. Because uh, I'm just so used to going to the top to access files. Unsupported format. Uh, what? Wait, 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 wait. No. This. I want the project file. Give me the project. There you go. Okay. I think I opened the FSB on accident. But anyways, this is the project file. I opened the SIP. This is what this thing is for. I, that's what I'm used to doing, to be honest with you. That's why I'm saying like I'm, I just haven't done it in a hot-ass minute. But here we are. If you open the SIP file that we just generated, that will now open up this thing that we just modified. So you can see now have all the targets set. And we didn't waste any fucking time waiting for this stupid-ass program to load for us. Now, for whatever reason, it defaults to 50%, even if your file says 100. So just change it to 100. There you go. Boom. You're done. Now it's this fucking easy. You click the execute insertion button and you move on with your life. It opens up this little thing and then it says done. There you go. Insertion complete. Bing bada fucking boom. Now we open up Halo. Go in the anti-cheat off just because that's what I'm used to doing. But you can go into the anti-cheat on version and I can show you that too. But honestly, it's kind of a waste of fucking time. Um, but yeah. So now we have modded battle rifle sounds in the game. 
and uh, I'm going to go to the forge again. Like I said, this will work online with anti-cheat off. The anti-cheat does not scan FSB files. Thank the lord. Hold on, I need a sip of my water. Okay. Yeah, sorry for the slight hiccups there. Um, but anyway, here we go. Battle rifle? That is so fucking cool. So yeah, that's how you mod sounds. And that was bulk importing as well. Fast as fuck bulk importing. Um, I don't know. I've seen a tutorial online that I wasn't too impressed with. Uh, for inserting sounds, but like I said, I'm just doing it my way. I've been asked to make this tutorial a lot of times, but to be honest with you, I just hadn't the fucking energy to do it because I already had my own project file set up. I was already quite happy with it, and I didn't feel like making a new one, but now I feel like making a new one, so here's a tutorial from me. But anyway... So that's that. That's what this will sound like in-game now, and you can do this to as many sounds as you want, doesn't make doesn't matter um, yeah I kind of would like to do more but I don't know if I want to extend the tutorial or not just because like it's pretty much done like that's it like if you wanted to add more sounds it's the exact same process like easy as fuck um, we can maybe do the magnum so I'm gonna exit out of the game just to make sure there is no issues with reading the file because there are sometimes issues it seems that's fine, but look at this now. So we have the whole project file. It's great. Like, there's no issues anymore. We can go ahead and exit. So say we want to do Magnum. Let me choose a sound. This is totally impromptu, by the way. Like, I don't... Sometimes I like to keep this tutorial short and shit, just the videos, but, you know, it's nice to elaborate a little bit, too. That's not satisfactory. Um, this is completely unplanned, so bear with me. No, those are not going to be working. I wanted, like, pistol sounds, but this doesn't satisfy me. Um, I think I already went to this one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. You know what? If we were to go... You know what? Let's look at this guy. You know what? I remember that one sounds like. Not what I'm looking for. Are you a single? Yes, you are. Yeah, I'm not happy with that either. I feel like that could be like a shotgun though. I don't know, I'm just looking for sounds right now. That's not terrible. Not sure if I want that though. Hold on. Let me turn this down just a, just a little bit. It's not bad. So anyway, go to edit, go to search, we're going to look for Magnum. Now see, there's four Magnum sound files. I don't know if we want something beefier. These are just random sound files that I pulled off the internet, so I really don't know what any of these are. I'm just going through, there's automatics, shit, that sucks. Yeah, so this is the issue too, it's, it's like these sounds, are, these are shotgun sounds. We could maybe do the shotgun. Now, these are kind of shit, to be honest with you. Um... Maybe we can make this into an assault rifle. Mm, you gotta go here. Here's a lot of sound I was talking about. This is for the assault rifle. But uh, the AR is not listed under a file name. It's listed under this. So you see 19103B. Yeah, these are all the assault rifle sounds. So let's go ahead and extract these guys. So convert them. Quick convert. Go ahead and just do that. And then we'll go to my modding sounds, go to my weapons, go ahead and make a new folder. You can call it AR or whatever you want to call it. Assault rifle, it doesn't matter. And I don't know why that's uh, question marks, but it is. But anyway, as you can see, if I were to go to my modding sounds thing, you can see we have AR sounds now. So those are all extracted. <laughs> like that. Sounds, that sounds more like a pistol to me. 
I'm trying to think, like, what would sound good as the assault rifle out of this? But to be honest, I don't know. I think these are a Fallout mod. Um, these sounds. Hold on one moment. I'm going to get some other sounds really quickly. I think these are also from Fallout. I don't play Fallout, but I looked uh, I looked real quickly for some realistic sounds because I'm interested in realistic sounds. It's kind of why I'm generating this because I wanted m new sounds. Ones that I had were good, but That might not be that that one might be good for pistol magnum That's weak. Hmm. So yeah, this is basically... Oh. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so there's four different sounds for the... Um... Or no, I'm sorry, not four. There's three different sounds for the assault rifle. So what we can do in this case, because like, you gotta just be creative a little bit. Now for me personally, here, I have three different sounds. Now, if you listen to them all, what's the difference? There's really not very much difference between all these other than pitch. So if you were to take a sound file like this, and you just, for example, oh, this, this is going to require some modifying as well, because it's too long. But um, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. But a cheap way to do it is like this pretty much drag to the end of the file. You can cut it here, but you can also fade out a shitload of times. Um, I don't think there's... There's one down here, too. There's a studio fade out, but it's up to you to choose whichever one you want. But uh, you can make it quicker and do this. And just make it fade out very quickly. So now, if I play this... I know it cuts off very quickly, but this is what you have to do in this environment. So, this is the original sound. Oh, and here's another thing too. This is a stereo sound, and this is a non-stereo sound. So we kind of have to make it stereo. So this basically what that means is you have to create two channels. So you notice they're both mono. Oh, here's another thing too. The tracks are in 44,100 hertz. Just put the project rate to 48,000, and it will automatically set that. So, now... Take these two, open this, make stereo track. Boom, it automatically knows what to do. So that makes a stereo track. Take this guy, make him silent. Gone, there you go. So now we got the original lengths and we got rid of the original sound. We're just gonna overwrite. We got 48,000 Hertz and we're Gucci. So go ahead and export this and we'll say um, as wave, it will go to our assault rifle. Hit yes, boom. There you go. So that's replaced. I'm going to get rid of that. And we will also do... I don't know where the fuck I put this. Oh, whatever. It does not make a difference. I probably put it on the desktop, but... Yeah, that's the one that I like for this. Okay, so this is saved. Now, I'm actually not going to like completely um, remove this. Well, the thing is, honestly, I should completely remove it. I just kind of wanted to cut corners and not remove it. But um, basically, if you were to do what I just did, you can drag it and you can move the file where it needs to be. Oh, fuck. You know what I just realized? I just fucked up. Hold on. I got to hit Control-Z. If you hit Control-Z, it undo. You undo things in the program. But Control-Z, um, I'm undoing this because if you noticed, I turned the volume down. I didn't notice that until... Thankfully, right now, uh, if I hadn't noticed that, then it would have basically been a shitty sound in game, and I would not be satisfied. So we have to resave this, and that's totally fine. Just make sure that you do that. But anyway, um, what I was going to try to do to cut corners was to um, put in the next sound and keep that one in there, but I'm not going to do that because I wanted to overwrite the name. 
So now this is where we have to do the exact same thing as I did previously. We just got to keep doing this until we get our fi our, finish our finished product, whatever we desire. So uh, that's probably good. There you go. Okay. You basically just want to make sure it fades out. And then the next thing, you can increase the pitch ever so slightly. Uh, you have to scroll up a little bit here and you can see change pitch. So this, you can choose to change the pitch just ever so slightly. Now let me mute this one. And I'm also going to make this quiet again, but don't let me forget about this. Okay. So now I want to make it sound slightly different. So we'll go ahead and make it like, well, this is 10% change upwards. So we're going up a little bit higher by 10%. I don't know if that sounds good. To me, I'm going to say no. Um... I don't know if this high quality stretching shit is going to be necessary. That may actually change the way this sounds too. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's undesired. So, I guess what you can do here alternatively, you can use this high quality stretching, which tries to basically keep it the original size. I think is what it does. Yeah, it does. So that changes it just by 5% pitch. It's not really that much. But that's good enough just to give it some slight variation, right? So now we're going to go ahead and create a stereo for this as well, which once again, very easy. You just what I'm doing there, I'm just copying and pasting it. I just select it, control C, control V, and then I just select this little tab and then hit make stereo track and then there you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and generate silence for the original track cuz I don't want it. And I'm going to restore the volume. And like I said, the only reason why I'm changing the volume like that is cuz I'm wearing a headset and for uh, for whatever reason, it's just like ear rapingly loud, and I like to keep my volume at 100% because it's like I, I just don't like to adjust it. Um, I like to have the software to adjust everything. But uh, this is the next file, and then we're gonna do the next one, and the next one is basically gonna be the exact same thing, except I'm gonna pitch it just a little bit lower. So there's the assault rifle fire sound, and then there's this fire sound. So once again, I need to cut it to size, and I need to fade it out a few times. Oh, and by the way, if you hit Control r in Audacity, it will make the thing, the last action that you did in this, you can see it says Control r here, it repeats it. So that's all I'm doing in order to do it again, in order to just do it quicker. So same thing, I need to make it stereo, but I'm also going to pitch it down first. So I did 5% change, now I'm going to do a negative 5% change, and you're going to hear a little... Oh fuck, you know what I think I just did, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I had both selected, so we'll just do this one. Pitch, negative 5. There you go. Now let me turn it down. Alright. So that's going to be slightly lower pitch, not too much. It may not even be noticeable in game, to be honest with you. I really don't know. But we're going to find out in a little bit. Um, but I did choose the assault rifle because I wasn't finding anything at the time that was nice enough for the Magnum. I'm going to do that on my own time. But I figured I'd do two of these just to show how it works. Like, you know, I don't. I, there's nothing I'm missing. I just want to do it really thoroughly. But yeah, 48,000 hertz on the project. Go ahead and export it as a wave. And we make sure that we have the same lengths and all the above, blah, blah. Great. Go ahead and replace it. Keep the OG information. And now we move into here again. Get rid of FUBAR. we got to go into DSSI, which is the Dark Souls Sound Inserter. Go ahead and open our project from before, our Halo3.sip. And basically, you can see, boom, you got all the original shit that you had. Isn't that wonderful? Now, we don't really want to fuck around and waste time, but we, c we just have to do one of these things. So we add the samples again. So we have to put in our sounds. So we're just going to do one of the targets. So um, I don't know if we'll encounter an error in this case. I don't think we should, but we'll see what happens. I had an issue with my own personal project, but we'll see if we encounter it again. So anyways, you see here it's 2623. So we're going to go all the way down to ID 2623, and we are going to find that it's 2622 because like I said, it, it's producing it in index uh, further in FUBAR. So we just want to take this guy and set that target. And there you go. So now we can just save the project again. Save it as a SIP. Halo 3 SIP. Go ahead and, and save over it. Replace it. And uh, did it not replace? The fuck? Is it taking its sweet time? The hell? 
I don't think it's replacing it. Nope, there it is. Okay, so, boom. Now you've got... Okay, we didn't we did not encounter the errors, so we're good. Um, there was a time where, for some reason, the indexes were being deleted for me, but this is not happening in this case. But anyways, it's the same exact process as before. So as you see, 26, 24, we just take minus 1. So 26, 23. Boom, there you go. 26, 25, we just take 1 minus, or 1, one behind it, and there you go. 22, 23, 24. Save it, and then go ahead and open the project again. Halo3.sip, and as you'll see in a moment here, our indexes are in. We're good to go. We could just go ahead and uh, execute the insertion. So we will do so, and it'll say we're good, and then we just load into Halo. So another <sighs> slight limitation with this here, let me go online, I'll show you. I'll show you this works online this time. That's another slight limitation of this, um, which I'm kind of encountering this as an issue with like my own custom map. So if you wanted to like say, for example, you have your own custom sounds and you like somebody else's mods, and they have a custom FSB. So like for example, with my map Superb, you have um, I have all my custom sounds for that map in my FSB. Now if I wanted to like say you wanted to download my map but you also wanted to keep your custom files your custom fire sounds rather you'd have to blend the two together so you'd have to take your firing sounds that you've created whatever you like and then you would have to mix it into someone else's FSB it's kind of a bitch but that's the way that it is right now because there's no way at this time for us uh, as a developer for Halo mods or Halo content there's no way for us to generate new sounds in the game at this time. When 343 released the mod tools, which is the official source development kit for Bungie, um, it's what they used to create the game with. They released it with a broken uh, broken audio, basically. Audio, you cannot, you cannot generate new audio files for the game. So and anybody who is in the same field as me in terms of modding will know exactly what I'm talking about. And this FSB is the only way to insert custom sounds at this time of making this video. It's the only it's the only way to do it. Uh, but the only way that it will be fixed is either a three four three decides to patch it. They decide to uh, do some work, get off their ass, and patch it, or somebody from the Halo modding scene will hack it, and they will enable the sounds if it is possible. So anyways, all of that said, we can go into a game, and I'll just go into a free-for-all. Hopefully I get a battle rifle, or an assault rifle. I'm pretty sure I will, though. And I'm doing this with all the tools on, all the programs, uh, everything. Like, I do not care, period, nothing. Like, it, all this shit can be on, and it does not matter, because that's how the anti-cheat works. You can have, uh, it's actually pretty forgiving anti-cheat, to be honest with you. Oh, you know what I can do? I can make this go faster. Sorry, I'm trying to get a match. Let me go to the custom game browser. I could probably do this a lot quicker than I can anything else. So, well, that's if there's Halo 3 games available. Social. Eh, big team. H, no, that's not what I want. Jump. Jumps. Fiesta. FFA. This might be what I need. Yeah, let's give this a try. And you're gonna hear people. I'll, I'll mute him as soon as I have an opportunity. Just give me one moment. You probably hear the firing sounds as soon as we get in game. Yeah, you can hear it. There you go. Custom assault rifle sounds. Shit. Here's a BR as well. Holy. So yeah, I think that's probably where I will leave the tutorial for today just because um, pretty complete. As you can see, there's some firing sounds put in. 
They sound pretty neat in the distance, too. You can hear it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna hop out of here because I'm not trying to play. But um, that's it. That's how you do it. It's very simple. And as you can see, I'm online as well, so there's no there's no anti-cheat conflictions. But um, yes, that is my full tutorial. Congratulations, you've been through it all. And if you've made it this far, then thank you very much for watching. And uh, I will see you next time. Peace out.